and hello guys welcome to my next video with T62A I am playing a new map called Stalingrad as you already know this map is very big and has insane number of possible ways to flank the enemies so it is very hard to play on it I must say that I have already played it multiple times but only way where I was able to succeed was the left side, lines 8 and 9, where where there are some good hold-down positions that you can use. So I'm heading straight there with my platinum mates Kragento and Bumpwheel from F15. When we look at the setup, enemy team. Well, look at that. You can see my dick from here. Because Stalingrad is obviously a city map, and they have more heavy tanks that are more convenient and more suitable for for this map. First enemy we have spotted is T30. But I am still waiting here for the income of enemy mediums. And there is the first one, bad chat. And he made but a mistake like when he's standing like that, uncovered. Yeah, I guess pigs do fly. Oh yeah, RNG strikes again. This shot should have killed him, but he survived. What a surprise. was probably only one enemy medium Not on my team present here, so me. we decided to push this flank. And very fast we realized that he wasn't the only medium out here. You need a new ass. That one's got a hole in it. This was a fail shot. I should have aimed a lot better. Now, <laughs> it was a bit unlucky. Was that E4 panned me and blocked my turret mechanism. Now, I am in a really dangerous situation. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Jack Pence E100 right in front of me. Booyah. Thank god I Time got to really really tough turret so he bounced me. But this D50M was smarter and he aimed my commander's hatch. Which is only possible yeah, weak spot on my turret to penetrate him. To penetrate, to penetrate it. I'm fighting a bunch of bedwetters. I switched to heat shells because I really felt uh, like that at this particular moment Grab it before you tap it. another fail shot from me should have changed the, the aim die. of my shot completely because the Jake Pence 100 turned and he was no longer vulnerable from the tangle. I'm gonna penalize you for necessary roughness. Eat lead. A problem. <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> for coming for me, I run for my life. Yeah, he was stupid. He missed first shot. I magically bounced with heat. Kid. At this moment, I really did not think that I'm going to make it. Bounced again. No, not really bounced, but that's a common issue with heat. Being eaten with zero damage by the tracks. 
this right, we're good. He repairs. But he doesn't aim at me. Why? <laughs> but again, <laughs> I want this arrow to take it back. Oh no, Astrid. The beat down. He missed me. Great. I see three enemy tier tens in A2. My only possibility is to kill this Astrid fast and then try to Buzz deal with them. Bounced off. Could have gone through, but it was not obligatory. I should have aimed better. But I repent me and made me one shot, which is not really nice. At this moment he was loaded. Yeah, he really was loaded, but he missed me. Oh oh. Probably it was again eaten by IS-3's magical space timer. Now, our only hope to win was to cap. So I'm heading straight there. But enemies also started capping. Now you see me, now you're dead. Has no brain probably, so he does not know that capping is our only hope. But as you can see, Enemy 100 is returning back. What the hell? When I saw enemy 100 returning back, I thought, oh yeah, we've got a problem. But then. You are one ugly motherfucker. But then, there Nasty. appeared another U100. So it was a really, really, really big problem. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. This was a, a little bit risky shot, but I managed to stay and hold the cap pressure. This was again lucky. If he only loaded high explosive, I was dead. But he did not. It was his fault. Our ally managed to to decap, but then he died, and I was forced by the D100 to leave the cap. If only I had balls and I killed him now, we would have won that game. But oh yeah, he killed our object, and now I have really, really low chances. I am able to kill him, but then. I have to decap. If our object 140 survived, we would have won that game. Because we could have kept faster in the enemy IS-7. But now I have to cross this huge, really, really huge map. I, I thought that I can reach our cap in 40 seconds. I realized how actually big that map is when I was trying to get to our cap because from expected 40 seconds it was more than one minute and I passed I believe or not <laughs> I'm not sure but it took longer than I expected well, and now I, you seven, can see my dick I have high here. explosive loaded Sit zero damage right. boom and I'm out at least <laughs> I would expect that high explosive ammunition is going to deal some damage but mm -mm, RNG said no so I lost <laughs> and look at the situation in the end there were left three enemy tier tens almost full HP I just asked, asked myself what were our allies doing on the other flank? Anyway, let's continue to the battle route. Here I got high caliber confederate. And you can also see that in this particular battle I obtained third damage mark 
for having higher average damage per bottle than 95% of the 62 ace owners team score I have done 7200 damage next one behind me I hadn't even done 3000 but look at the enemies the R7 who killed me was unable to do 1200 is one of those relief to cap players. As you can see, enemy E100 platoon decided to defend what was the cause of their win in the end. <laughs> but this I7 just <laughs> look at this <laughs> 11 shots, 10 direct hits. He could have done almost 5k damage if he penetrated all his shots <laughs> but, <laughs> but he has done only <laughs> 1200 i7 he's so silly <laughs> and then he kept our base oh yeah some people live to die and some people live to cap so <laughs> just can't win them all I hope you liked this video, you enjoyed the battle, and if you did, feel free to like it on YouTube or subscribe to my channel. I wish you good luck on the battlefields and see you next time.